Happening right now, family, friends, and colleagues honor the memory of the crime scene investigator killed in a crash. Cynthia Newsom is live at that memorial. Cynthia? Yeah, when you meet Michael Chow's family, you get a very real sense of exactly how strong the family bond is between them. You can also feel the raw pain and emotion that they are feeling right now. The memorial service is happening inside here at the police academy. There is a moment of pause for so many people when they walk into the auditorium and see the flag draped coffin. Michael Chow was only 29 years old, just beginning his career as a crime scene investigator. He had worked for two years with the Kansas City Police Department. Now, before the memorial service, Michael's father and mother and sister met with the news media. His dad said that Michael wanted to be in law enforcement since he was a child, that he followed in his grandfather's footsteps. He was also a police officer. And his sister remembered his, her brother's smile. Mike really liked, he had written that he loved the challenge and unpredictability of the job. He, he wasn't a person that just thought one thing, he thought outside the box. He could see something and, and um, find observations that no one else can, can see. So he, he just liked that he had a job that challenged him every day. He loved it. Now, Michael had been working the night shift at the crime lab at 65th and Troost Saturday early in the morning, about 3 o'clock in the morning when he drove onto Troost and was hit by a car with such force, it actually split his car in half. Now, Michael's uh, family is saying that they are going to, from here, take the body back to the uh, funeral service and that Michael will later be cremated. And they are appreciating everyone who has gathered here today to share their stories and their love for Michael Chow. Reporting live, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.